I think about my sister, Deb, every single day. I think about her when I'm driving past the intersection of Highbury and Trafalgar, and I can't stop envisioning what happened the day she was arrested and then died. In my mind, there is a playback that continued to repeat about how everything unfolded. I can see the bystanders who knew my sister needed help. I watch while they dial emergency services and how all of them arrive but with the wrong personnel. I drive past this intersection with tears streaming down my face, thinking of how close I am to the hospital right now and about how easy a seven minute drive could have saved her life and by saving her life could have changed all of ours. The last moment of my sister's life are etched into my mind and I can constantly hear my sister's last moments and hear her dying breaths and there is nothing more that I want to have been in that police car ride sitting beside you and being with you so that you are not alone. When I hear the police car door slam, I imagine it's a sound that rings the ending of your life. I know that the sound of the car door is the last moment of my sister's life because when I see her next on video recording at the police station, this is not her. She is bent backwards in half she is limp and I keep feeling her eyes open and dried and fixated. Police officers are only a few feet away and making small talk and oblivious that someone's life is ending beside them. I can't get these images out of my head no matter how much I try to think of all the good memories in our life. The cruelty of her death overwhelms the kind and gentleness of her soul and for that I am angry. I see my sister when I leave my house, I see her in the grocery store when I'm shopping and at school where I pick up my children. For a brief moment, I forget she is dead and the memory of her passing seems like a nightmare that's over for a second, a few seconds. I think about how I would talk to her about that nightmare and how we would laugh. Then the next second it changes and I see my sister's children. They're not happy though. They're struggling and upset that they will never have the chance to see my sister again and she will never have the opportunity to hold them or comfort them. When my sister died, my dad was so old and he was already failing. When my sister was buried, I watched his legs give out as he walked away from her coffin being lowered into the ground.